YOLO! SWAG! Hey, what is up ladies and gents, my name is Jaden of Team Vox Popular and today you are here for another 1.5.2 mod showcase. Oh look, there's a chicken to the right of the screen. Anyways, we're gonna shut him out. Today's mod is the Instant Blocks mod sh showcase thing by Slime Mask 3 on the Minecraft forums. It's a really cool mod, I don't know what kind of obsession I have with like repacking and packing mods or blocks, but it's really cool. And uh, yeah, so without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first off we have the instant wooden house mod. This recipe will require two spruce wood planks, one birch wood plank, two pieces of glass, one bed, one door, and two birch logs. And that will give you the instant wooden house block. Now to show you guys this block, I do not want to destroy the mod showcase area, so we are going to head into the wasteland, and we will head there by a command block. And poof, almost instantly we are here, so I'm just going to go ahead and Fast forward to when I have found a good spot for me to place this down. Let's go future Jaden! Alright, thanks past Jaden. So first we're gonna like dig a little bit and place this block in the ground. It looks all nice like a target so it's easy to click on. And you'll just right click on it once more to open up the house and BAM! You can see that in the chat it says that the instant wood house has been created. And if you did not hear that earlier, you also get the level up sound effect. So as you can see, as soon as you place this block, you are actually safe inside the house, which is very smart if you have to use this in a pinch. As you can see, it comes equipped with two furnaces, some nice tables, I mean, the interior decorating is really nice, I mean, it's nicer than I could ever build. You get a crafting bench and like two dub chests, and yeah. Now you should also notice that some of these recipes are fairly easy to get, so as a result, you could easily just like, take that bed and take that door and take some more of these planks and make another house just leaving this one without like a door and stuff but it's a really cool mod not too overpowered as long as you don't abuse the method that I just told you damn it but let's move on to the next recipe now here is another block that I'm even more impressed by than the instant house mod this is the instant mine mod so you need three ladders three stone one torch, one sign, and one water bucket. So you'll notice again that none of these items are too hard to obtain. So right beside our beautiful house, I'm just going to punch into the ground and place down this block and I will open it. And there, I think you heard it that time. That was the experience sound. So as you can see, it creates almost down to bedrock. It goes to the 12 level, which is ideal for diamonds. So as you can see, we have torches and ladders on one side and this big hole with water at the bottom on this side. So basically what you can do is just jump down and fall all the way down to where you need to mine. It's really amazing and then you can just like mine from here. This sign is here so that it stops the water from... F I mean, I, th I, th I think that's a pretty smart idea. How many people have actually thought of this? If you've thought of this, comment down below because I figure you guys are pretty smart. I mean, you know, you did sub to me, right? That's probably like the best decision of your life ever. So next up we have the instant glass dome block. This is crafted with five pieces of glass, a torch, and three stone, and I'm pretty sure all of you already know what this is for, but if you don't, we're gonna place this underwater. Okay, so say for example, you're here underwater and you're like, hey, for some really stupid, stupid, stupid reason, I wanna live here with these ugly ass squids. So you're going to take your glass dome block and you're just gonna place it down, and click again, and bam, you are inside. And you'll notice that, yeah, there is air inside here, so you get your own little, like, nice place. And you could actually just, like, punch this glass and add a door. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the instant farm block. It's crafted with two seeds, two dirt, three of any type of bricks, so that's like mossy cobble, stone bricks, blah blah blah, and a water bucket, and that will give you the instant farm block. Now it has a 5% chance of spawning with melons and 5% chance of spawning with pumpkins, but the other 90% of the time it will spawn with wheat. Alright, now that we have a house and a mine, let's add a farm. So I'm gonna place this block down, right click it, and bam! Instant farm! So as you can see this time I got wheat, and let's see, you get 7, 14, 56 pieces of wheat here. Yeah, that's right. You get a crafting bench and two chests. And you also get a nice little fence that you can just like hop out of. It's a really nice farm actually, it's really great. 
Alright, now this block is a fun block. This is the one you saw at the intro to this video. It's crafted with one red wool, one orange wool, one yellow wool. Okay, you know your colors. You need wool, and you need a diamond, and that will give you this uh, flashy-looking, totally not homosexual block. And yeah, it's a uh, rainbow skydive block, so let's go check that out. Should be a lot of fun. Alright, so here we take the flashy block and place it down, and when I activate it, you'll notice that BAM! I am at the top. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Yeah, so you'll notice I'm at the top of this rainbow thing, and that looks really shady, but actually it's just the fact that everything else is rendering right now, even though it looks like a death drop. Wow! I hope there's water at the bottom! Okay, there is. Yay! Yeah, that was that, and since I'm lazy, I'm just going to jump back up to the top, and as you go- Oh, gee! Anyways, as you can see, when I press F3, that my Y is at 200 feet, so that goes like straight from ocean level all the way up to the top where you can't really build anymore. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. Now if I jump off on this side, my ending will not be so good. Now here we have the mob grinder block which is crafted with two water buckets, one iron pickaxe, two pieces of glass, a wooden door, and one crafting table and two chests and that will give you the instant mob grinder. This is very vanilla and is not too overpowered. Now the reason that this is not overpowered is because you actually have to find specifically a zombie or skeleton spawner first and then you place this block on top and right click it as with all the other blocks. And bam! You get a crafting table, two chests, and you'll note here that I can just open this up. So as you can see now here I am in another part of the grinder. It's just like this little spot where skeletons and zombies cannot escape, as you can see, I can't get out. So basically you'd be able to stand right where I'm pointing and you could just punch at my own feet and I would drop EXP and it's really great actually. So this is a really efficient grinder, it's not quite ethos level but it is very amazing as you can see they take fall damage so it's enough to reduce them to a one hit KO grinder. What kind of Minecraft adventure is complete without a swimming pool? Trick question, there is none. Alright, so here we have the crafting recipe for the instant pool. It requires four stone slabs, three pieces of glowstone, and one water bucket, and that will give you the instant pool. So now I can just place down my pool and bam! Magic. I get a pool. And as you can see, it comes with two diving boards, a shorter one and a taller one, and obviously it's not going to be like a dead drop. I place this on top of the mob grinder thingy. So if you place this in the ground, this part will actually be right at ground level. So you can just hop onto the ladder and be like, Wow! And then do like 180, oh 360, nice, nice, nice! Next time I'll no scope. Anyway, so now you have this and it's a pool and it's really cool. And if you place another one below it and then you break some of these blocks, you can actually make a waterfall, waterfall, waterfall into another pool and it's really cool. But yeah, that's the pool, really easy way to get water actually. Now this here may not be as cool as all the other blocks, but it is definitely the most useful. It's crafted with six pieces of stone, three ladders, and based on the little like animation of the block, you can see it here. I'm pretty sure you know what it does. So we are just going to drop into our mine here, and I actually noticed that holding this thing in my hand makes me really dizzy. But uh, yeah, hey, cool, cool. Okay. Ah, oh, damn you, gravel. Damn you. Damn you. Okay. So if we continue on here and be like, oh, I am trapped. There is clearly no way out. We place down this ladder, and wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, you right click it, and bam! Ladder, and it goes all the way up to the surface. So, because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna do like slash jump. Yeah, here we go. So, here we have actually one of the most expensive recipes. It just uses a diamond, and this is instant water, as you can see. It takes the texture from my texture pack, which is really nice because it just blends in a lot more nicely. And it's crafted like so with water, and it will create a small area with water. If we look in this chest here, you can see that it does the same with lava as well. See, it creates a body of water, blah blah blah. Don't do too many or everything's gonna crash. So we're gonna take these and we will head to the area. So this is actually really simple. You just place this down, right click of course, and you place this down and right click and it works the same way. So you might be wondering how far this can go. I'm just gonna do that and bam. As you can see, I crashed because I placed way too many. And last but not least, very importantly, we have the instant suction block. It's crafted with eight iron and one uh, dropper and you will get the instant suction block. So in essence what you do is you place it in your like body of water or in this case maybe lava and you just right click it and it sucks back up to its block as you can see. Bam! Now I'm gonna be really stupid and I'm going to actually try and place it in the water here and let's see what happens. It crashed again so yeah just like before don't goof around like I did kids. Also don't smoke. 
Ladies and gents, this has been the Instant Blocks mod done by Slimask3 on the Minecraft forums. As you can see, it's a very cool mod. You can get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time. It's really amazing. I am Jaden of Team Vox Populi. I hope you enjoyed this mod showcase. Uh, up on the screen right now are the names of the over 200 something people that have subscribed since our last mod showcase. You guys are amazing. We actually just recently hit 1400 subs. It's not really a huge milestone, but it is really important to me. I love you guys. And um, yeah, ladies and gents, it's really amazing. I mean, if you want to join Team Vox Populi and have your name shown up on our next mod showcase, hit that subscribe button that I have right there. Or if you're on mobile, scroll down a little bit and hit subscribe. It really does help. So yeah, I suppose I really have to talk for a while longer because there are really a lot of names here. But anyways, as you can see, there's that huge like rainbow pole thing. That doesn't sound like innuendo. And um, yeah, I, I guess I got a lot of stuff down. There's like five major structures here. I have my mine, I have my house, I have my farm, I have my grinder, I have my pool, and I have my like skyfall thing. Ooh, skyfall. James Bond reference. But yeah, ladies and gents, if you like what you see, and you see what you like, and you like Kwabi, keep the love alive, favorite comment, and subscribe. Make sure you to check out my other mod showcases and survival games and parkour, that kind of thing. But until then, ladies and gents, I will see you later. Stay classy. Wow! Swag!